This video is a segment from the live stream linked in the description below. If you find it useful, be sure to like it. But if you'd like to join the conversation, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when we go live the next time. I'd love to see you there. Until then, I hope you enjoy this video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and I have my libraries open, but we will talk about those in a little bit. But, um, because all it takes in order to, to create a function block that you can reuse over and over again is, is really just a, um, to go to add new block and create a function block and name it something. Um, and for us, I don't like the fact that there's two FB 2400s, but we're gonna, we're gonna just name this function block uh, ag um, real level um, status. So we're gonna call it ag real level status. And the reason I'm gonna call it that instead of like control is because I'm not exactly sure right now if this is gonna control anything. I think it's just gonna be an interface into that level and saying, okay, this is a bin, uh, this is a bin and we're going to, to kind of go from there. So we'll just set, um, we're gonna set this to an automatic number and really what that that really doesn't do anything very much in the project because with a, a function block, you're going to get an, what's called an instance data block. And those are the ones that you might want to organize and definitely name something that, that makes sense because that's really what you're going to be working with. You're going to be working with, like if you're accessing tags or something, they're going to all be in that instance data block. And we'll, we may touch on that in a second. So we'll just add new and open and voila we have it there um and so let's just go ahead and and start adding in uh our um our values here and so we want level and remember what input uh that is gonna be a word because we might um, and then, so what we're also going to go through and we'll go ahead and add, add this in and that will be a real, and we're going to add this area in as well, the real, uh, height can be kind of think we probably want to put this as as a one as default. So if we're messing with any sorts of rates, um, we, we won't accidentally get like a divide by zero situation there. Um, which if you're not aware of what would happen, if, if you do somehow program in a divide by zero, um, it will, it's a programming error. And if you don't have an organizational block called programming error, um, if you don't have that loaded, then it will crash your processor. If you don't know about OBs, um, I have a video that you can watch on, on the channel um, that would be specific about that. Um, but yeah, it kind of goes through the difference between OBs, FBs, FCs, um, and just kind of gives you like what that terminology is. So definitely want to try and prevent uh, dividing by zero. And last thing we have, we have our level, level, if I can spell, by the way, I, I'm horrible at spelling, level in percent, and that's going to be a real value. And then we're going to do the rate, same, we're going to do time to pull. And when I talked about this before, um, if you notice like the default values of here are have like this T, T pound zero milliseconds. Uh, when we go to actually like use these things, 
Um, if you're not familiar with what that is, the a time value is just straight milliseconds. And so um, if you want to put in one second, you can do T pound one S or you can just type in 1000 and it will get, get you one second. Just a little, little understanding if you're not aware of that. So um, to empty, that's the time. And then we're gonna have our status. Um, and that is gonna be a word. And we'll do some stuff with this here in a little while. Uh, but for the time being, we'll just leave it as a word because we know that we want to, to have just some bits that we can set up either on a faceplate or, or something like that for an HMI. Um, we want to have that to where you're not having to kind of interface in with all the individual values. Um, but so, um, and that is the basics of, of what we are needing right from, for right now. Uh, let me get the actual value um, because I always forget these values. I'm not good at, at actually um, remembering, remembering these values. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you're on, if you're on chat and you know what that, that val, the values are, it's like 27 something. I'll look it up here in a little bit. But the first thing we're going to do is all we really need to do is to bring in, um, this, our, um, our level input and we just need to divide it by, we just need to, to, to divide it by our, um, our full range of that analog input. Um, so we can just pop this, we can do a divide. And now here's, here's the thing that, that we can do. Um, so we want level percent, and then we want to divide it by, uh, what is it? 27, 648, something like that. And so it's going to do that is the wrong one level and I bet you it will not let you do this now so uh, level input there um, so there's an implicit conversion here and so we're doing this division in int uh, there's a couple of different ways, a couple of different things, I guess, that we could do. We could either convert this into a real and did, then do the division uh, and have a temp value here. So for this, this would end up being the level input of uh, in actual like decimal 27648. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so um so this would actually come out with like to be like zero point whatever would be 50 percent, and that might be fine and but if we wanted to just go through and make our block um simple uh we could just move this decimal point two places and that's doing the same thing as as multiplying by 100 in order to get it to, to zero to 100. And then now we have this level percent. And so one of the cool things about portal is it does do these uh, implicit conversion from int to real. And so it is converting, it is doing this division, uh, doing this division into as an int uh, and then converting it out as, as a real. So, one thing that can happen with that though is um depending on how this conversion is done um we may actually lose a little bit of resolution and what we're wanting to do now that i'm sitting here looking at this is i i actually want to do a conversion on this uh word 
because I'm, I don't trust whether this is going to get the correct um, order of operations, and we might lose a little bit of uh, a little bit of what's it called um, resolution on our on our actual output. So let's do a, a convert, and I'm going to move this over here, and we're going to do. It might just need to be a truncate. It's the real. Yep. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> now, what I want is do this. And obviously we don't have one of those. So what I'm gonna do is come up here, temp real real make that and then now everybody is happy no Man. all right so get down everything so let's let's make this that looks a lot better all right so we've got our block that's doing our our level input conversion into our uh percent and so that will be a zero to 100 percent Hopefully, this video has been helpful. If it has, you know, hit that, hit that like button and maybe even subscribe for more. But until the next video, always be learning. Bye.